Hey guys, have you ever wondered how to make your own server? Have you ever wanted to have your own server? Well, today th those two questions are about to be answered. Because I'm going to show you how to make your own TF2 server. Now, first of all, you go into this site, which will be in the description. Now, I've had troubles with this before. You do not want to save as far as you just want to run. Now, run it. And may hit yes, of course. Now, I already have a TF2 folder, but I'm going to delete that. Chelsea, new, and you want to name it TF2 server. Go into it. Okay, just minimize it. Then next, I agree. Now, this is where you're going to want to do all that save as crap. And you find your TF2 server. Click that and then hit OK. Yes. Next, next. Now, if you only if you did that save as thing, uh, it won't be allow you to do that browse crap, and you'll only have your HLDS update tool, which freaking bugs the crap out of me, and you'll have to delete all that and then restart. And you know, now we have all that. That unwise means uninstall. I don't know why they named it un unwise. I'm just gonna name it. I'm gonna rename it. Un uninstall. Alright. And then you're gonna wanna hold on. Oh yeah, you're gonna wanna go into your notepad. Type in oh yeah. Paste this is gonna be in the description. And instead of HL server put TF two server. And then save as. Save it as all files. And I'm in the TF2 server thing already. Some people will probably are be in the local disk, and you'll just have to find your TF2 server and save. Oops, forgot to name it. Update dot bat. Save it as update dot bat. You can just exit that out, and you can go back to your TF2 file and update dot bat. Now this is gonna take a little bit. Let's just show you how this. Depending on what kind, uh, like, if you got one of those newer computers, it will go faster. Depending on what kind of computer you have, this will go faster. But if you have one of those crappy 1999 computers, I wouldn't suggest running a server. All right, let's show you how. All right, mine's a little bit new computer, so it goes, it goes a little bit fast. I'll just show you a little bit. Now when. This starts a lot of things are going to say missing, missing, missing. Don't be alerted by that. It's all right because when it says missing, it's putting your things in there, and then you'll see a orange box and something else thing. I forget. Hold up, you'll see. Look, wait, it's just orange box right there, and we got a cl client registry. Ho see all that missing? Look how fast it's going. Now, when I come back, this will be done. I'm going to let y'all sit through all the. Alright, guys, I'm back and it's finally done downloading. Let me just exit that out. Uh, and you go back to your notepad. Now, this, we're going to make a server.cfg thing now. Paste. And that will be in the description. And you can. Save it as all files. Mm, hold on, I'll be right back. Alright, so you want to save it as all files and then type server.cfg and then go to orange box, tf, and then cfg and then save it there. And then you can edit this at any time, like your server's name, all that. Oh, let's go ahead and exit that out. I'm going to go back and do all that crap because I forgot to do it. Uh, and the server CFG will be. There it is, server. And I'm going to name it. Ray. The Rage Quit server because Rager Kids made it. 
I'm just kidding. Let's just name it Rager Kids Server. I'm not really sure what an Archon password is for. I'm not even going to touch it. I'm not sure what that is for either. And we'll put it 50 minutes. I'll talk, yes. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. Hot menu. I guess. Hot team. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so save. Alright. Go back to this. Okay, so now we're going to make a run server bat. Now you do this. Go to notepad. And then paste this, which will be in the description. Hold on. I don't believe I picked it all up. Okay, yeah. There you go. And then, instead of two fort, you can have anything. Um, be arena. Uh, arena nucleus. My server's gonna be arena server. Now, I can hold up to about 30 max players, so 15, 15, that should be good. Save. Oops. Save as then one day server dot bat no run server dot bat and go all files go back to TF2 server and then save it there. And you exit that out and there's your one server dot bat. And that's what it's and that runs your server. And it is and that's how you make your own server. And once you get on, once this all is done, your server will be up and running. Like, once your server says, uh, forget what it says, but like, it'll say st standing or something. And that will be it. And then your server will be running. And that's mainly how you make this to make your own server and just remember all that and you can do it that's how you make your own server thank you for joining us guys remember to like comment and subscribe this has been rager kids peace out